it looks like we're looking at the New England Patriots' new starting quarterback for the 2020 NFL season. Hello, this is Claude White, and yes, Cam Newton finally has a job in the NFL. He signed a one-year incentive contract with the New England Patriots that could be worth up to $7.5 million, which, as we know, is the bargain basement, the NFL minimum for a veteran such as Newton's status. He was a one-time MVP in 2015, and he will most certainly, barring injury, be the starting quarterback for the New England Patriots. Let's face it, the other two guys on the depth charts was 2019 fourth-round pick Jarrett Stidham and journeyman Brian Hoyer, and we know how his track record has been. Now, Newton is obviously a huge upgrade, and he can do the one thing that Tom Brady couldn't at 43 years old. Tom Brady cannot throw the ball with consistency down the field. He does not have as strong an arm as Cam Newton does. Now, this is Bill Belichick in 2017, where Newton was basically at the height of his powers. He did have a very good 2017. Now, this is him describing Cam Newton. I think when you're talking about mo mobile quarterbacks, guys that are tough to handle, tackle, can throw, run, make good decisions, I mean, I would put Newton at the top of the list. Not saying that there aren't a lot of other good players that do that, but I would say of all the guys we play or have played recently in the last couple of years, he makes he's the hardest guy to deal with. He makes good decisions. He can run. He's strong. He's hard to tackle. He can do a lot of different things, beat you in a lot of different ways. We saw that in the game down there in 2013, so I would put him at the top of the list. Not saying the other guys aren't a problem, because they are, but he's public enemy number one. Now that's what he feels that he'll probably more than likely get out of Newton in 2020 if he is certainly healthy. And it is going to be interesting to see how this pans out, especially in the NFC East, I mean the AFC East, excuse me, because let's look at the other three quarterbacks. It's Ryan Fitzpatrick for now, even though obviously um, Tua from the um, University of Alabama will be pushing him hard if he is, in fact, healthy himself. The um, New York Jets' Sam Darnold has underachieved for the most part. And when you look at um, Josh Allen, who's the quarterback of the Buffalo Bills, right now, you would have to say that Josh Allen would be the number one quarterback barring if Cam Newton is 100%. If Cam Newton is healthy, he's the number one quarterback in the AFC East bar none. You can say whatever you want about the other three. Cam Newton, when healthy, is head and shoulders above the other three guys. That's all there is to it. And it looks like the New England Patriots will more than likely win another AFC Eastern Division crown. Now, we also know that the New England Patriots were fined $1.1 million and there was a draft pick taken away from them, a third round pick in 2021. Um, to me, that's the slap on the wrist, but that's what I expect from Roger Goodell and the NFL in general when it comes to the New England Patriots. But it's not about that right now. It is about Cam Newton finally being signed and being signed to be the starting quarterback of the New England Patriots. Please like, share, and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. This is Uncle Claude. Take care and God bless.